On the last night, Kate invited me to their room. Hi, uh, excuse the mess. Come in. I filmed her and Matt on the balcony. Just to me, it wouldn't work a long distance relationship. To tell you the truth, I don't think we'd manage to spend the day apart anyway, would we? So, I basically say, if you do want to see me, then, well, we're both so either you get a job in Brighton or, or near where I live, whatever, you know, to be able to see each other more. What do you think about the idea that all of a sudden Matt's become someone in the public eye himself. Put it this way, all the dudes that I go to in London, Matt won't be coming. <laughs> so. No, I don't want to keep, I don't want to be pictured everywhere with you. I want to keep you private away from my work, is what I'm saying. I don't want to involve you in my work in the Jordan world. I'll involve you in Kate world. Are you happy with that? I've just told him, so I don't know what he says about that. Jory's still out. What? Hey, you, you know what I mean, though. No, I know what you mean. I'm not interested in all that bollocks anyway, to say the truth. I'm just saying. Were you a bit hurt by that? No, because I know what she meant. And I know that you won't use that anyway. Because <laughs> she won't let you. So I won't let her let you. No, I know what she meant. Yeah, we're happy, aren't we? If Matt was in love with Jordan, but not Kate, there was a problem. I couldn't see it lasting. After Matt had gone to check on Harvey, Kate talked to me about the cancer. When I got in the car, I phoned my mum and said, by the way, mum, you're not going to believe it. She was like, what? And I said, I've got cancer. She was like, oh, shut up, don't be so stupid. I said, I have. Then I said to everyone in the car, am I lying? They were like, no. I said, there you go. I said, I'll give you the name of it and you can have a look at what it is. She's going, oh, I don't believe this. I don't believe you. What next? I said, well, there you go. I'm going now anyway because I've got my nail appointment. I haven't thought to myself, why has it happened to me, really? But as I say, it's obviously happened for a reason. Come on, what is ever normal in my life, really? Nothing, is it? So do you believe in fate? I do, actually. Yeah. You believe everything happens for a reason? Um, yeah. I do. And I always believe that everything comes in threes, like it has done. So. I couldn't decide if Kate was being incredibly strong or just in denial. When we returned to Britain, Kate was told her cancer treatment had been a success, but Amy insisted she go and see a Harley Street specialist for a second opinion. Now, you're otherwise fit and well. Yeah. No other problems at all? No other problems. And you first noticed a little swelling or a lump? No, it happened after my horse tanked off with me, and then a few days later, a lump started coming. I just saw it happen from the horse. So that this tumour has now been removed yeah and you understand the point of the second operation was to try and gain a margin of normal tissue so that you are sure that you've got all the stuff out does that make you happy now mother all right okay please. Kate would need regular checkups for the rest of her life Afterwards, I found out that Amy had met Kate's new boyfriend, but didn't like what she saw. What happened when you met Matt, then? When are you going to sort yourself out? When are you going to get yourself a job instead of poncing off my daughter? Exactly what she said to Matt. Very harsh words. Well, if there's any sort of man, he'll come round and say, yes, I want to be with your daughter. 
I will get a job to help to mum, support her. Mum, what, what guy's ever gone round to you and said, do you mind if I go out for your daughter? Please, what guy's ever said that? Exactly, shut up. Well, I know one or two that actually do work. Yeah, what? Who? Well, they all work, all the guys you've been out with. What's the problem? I haven't got, I'm not the one who's got the problem. Well, no, he should work. It must be not good for him at his age to sit in the house no, all day. No, I agree. I, I think he should work. Well, that's it then. I think it's unhealthy. It and is. He should work. It's depressing. I'm not saying I don't want to keep him because whatever guy I'm with, you know, I like to buy him stuff, whatever anyway, but I like, it's nice to go out with a guy who's at least got an ambition or a challenge or something, you know, a goal in life, and it just seems he doesn't not bothered. Kate's just moved into a new home with Harvey. It's got several acres and stables for her horses. At the end of filming, I went round. As you can see, this is the lounge. It's not even finished. But I think you saw it before. It was an absolute mess. It does look completely different, doesn't it? What have you had done to the walls? Well, it had, like, all wooden beams and everything. I've had them all taken off, all replastered. So it had that horrible Artex stuff on it. And then in here, this would be like the dining room. Oh, this is also a uh, RBC for pet draft. <laughs> you see, there's a mess everywhere. There's still boxes. It's just so messy in here still. So you're not seeing Matt anymore? Oh, no. I got to the stage where I just could bear him near me or touch him. It was awful. And then eventually I thought, stuff this. I can't be doing with this. I said, look, you're going to have to go. And he's all like that, and then he didn't want to go. What did he say? And he, he, he like, left some of his stuff here. I said, no, I think you should take all your stuff with you. He's like, yeah, well, I won't be back. I said, you will be back. Just don't try to be mad. Just take your stuff. You know, I didn't want to be horrible, but I just wanted him out. Gone. <clears throat> What's the latest with Harvey's condition? Um... They next see him when he's a year old. They do all the tests then. But I definitely reckon he can see in this eye a little, a little bit. Yeah. What's that? What is it? <laughs> Wee! Pew. Wee! Pew. So is that, is that um, an improvement on what the doctors told you to expect? Yeah, because before he couldn't see anything at all, nothing. Not even light or dark. But you can now. Yes. Sorry, Kate, this is Tony. Hi, I'm This is little Harvey. We're just going to drop him at the road on the way, yeah? Okay. So. Then Kate was off again, making a personal appearance at a lap dancing club in Birmingham. See you then, Kate. See you, Rich. Take care. Yeah. Have a good time at Stevie Rhino. Yeah.